the tagline is, uh, what, if, what if Indians invented photography? <laughs> you know, would there be a different set of kind of protocols or ideas or you know, notions of exchange in relation to this, this kind of image making process? My name is Will Wilson and I'm a photographer and an artist uh, based in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm Diné. Um, I'm also Irish and Welsh. The, the title of, of the project that I'm um, showing here at SAM is um, it's called the Critical Indigenous Photographic Exchange, uh, CIPIX for short. It's about a dialogue around photography and portraiture that hopefully engages the, the sitter, the person being photographed as a collaborator and working with an old historic photographic process to um, create a story about a person. I think shortly after 2012, I ran across this technology, the Layar app. But it was a way to kind of visually embed um, video and other media into, into the object. And I had, I had worked previously, actually, with um, QR codes um, to do a similar thing. But, you know, the, the nature of the AR with Layar is that the image becomes the code. And so it's a much more kind of trans fluid transition from the still to the video. When I started the project, I framed it kind of in relation to Curtis's work. I think, I, to some extent, that was strategic. I mean, I knew that his 150th birthday was coming up. Framing my work in relation to that would give me uh, access to, to kind of dialogue, to space, to, you know, shows like this, where people want to show the Curtis work, but they now feel like it needs to be recontextualized, you know, like the stories need to be shifted, augmented. Um, I think thinking about archives that have been developed around kind of this collection of information. Um, and there's a tension between, I think, uh, the archive and the repertoire, at least in, in a lot of native cultures. Most um, indigenous cultures are orally based, right? So oral tradition is the way that like history, knowledge, ways of knowing are passed down and archives just kind of in and of themselves like a mass authority. And so I'm, I'm trying to kind of explode the archive in some sense uh, by giving away the original, um, by um, including now multimedia so that the, the archive kind of speaks back to you um, from its own kind of position. In some ways, like, I, I'm devoted to the project, you know, uh, I think, you know, in a way that, like, Curtis was. He, he definitely, um, you know, was a driven guy who was, like, on a mission to create this incredible body of work. I, I think there's just something about that, like, being the author of an archive or a collaborator in, in the creation of an archive that just drives someone to kind of, you know, you, you find, it like, a simple project and um, it propels you.